All right. Um, uh, create a lobby. All right, so what are we doing? Uh, two AI or one? Um, I don't know. So last time we did, <clears throat> last time we did, um, <laughs> melee, <laughs> melee. That's funny. Um, last time we did one new AI on standard and then one old AI on standard. Yeah. I'm gonna pick Byzantines. Um, do you have any particular... Obviously I'm gonna pick Saracens for one of them because I need that... I need that achievement. What would... Uh, any suggestion for the other one? Ethiopians. E Ethiopians. That's good. Okay. Alright, and I'll make them on the same team. And... Let's see. I'm going to change the location because Mediterranean is getting a little bit... Oh, hamburger. Hamburger. The ultimate Easter egg map located on either side of the tasty burger. Will you eat through it or sell around the bun and surprise the enemy? <laughs> Uh, I've never even, like, played half these maps, honestly. Tiny island that can't support you for long before you must move to them. Oh, yeah, this one's cool. I liked this one. It's, um, you're stuck on a little tiny itty-bitty island, and then you gotta move to, well, that's what it says, move to the mainland. Uh, I thought that was called, like, America, or, like, the Pilgrims or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Pacific Islands? A migration from one island to the next, where each island holds different resources. Prepare to fight for all of them. Hmm. Sandbank. Lumbo Lumbo oh, Italy. No, not Italy. It's a wintry landscape, but it's called Lombardia. The hell? Uh, do you have any particular <laughs> Italians? Do you have any particular? Uh, we'll just do Baltic. Uh, make sure to get on Team 4, because Team 4 is the best. I mean, um, so trying to decide anything. Um, well, the Italians are interesting. They're one of the newer ones. Um, they're, I think their special unit is, like, this guy with, like, I don't know, it looks like a Roman shield. It's obviously not the Romans, but, and he's got a crossbow, and he shoots and goes pew-pew. <laughs> oh god, the Teutons. That's good. What could possibly go wrong? Castles. <laughs> Alright, I think... I think we're good. Uh, treaty link nod. Alright, I'm good. Ready? Click the I'm ready button if you... I'm ready. I'm ready. Byzantines, Teutons, Saracens, and Ethiopians. This is a match. <laughs> oh god, I got sheep like right next to my cancer thing. Balsa. Balsa wood. Good old balsa wood. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I said for an hour because um, I'm just gonna just doing some shit. So he said he's been gone for like an hour or something. 
Yeah, that works. Uh, we can. If we don't get through all of it, we'll get through a decent amount, which is fine. We can at least just we can shove our shit into them and then they'll just die. Yes. Um, see, so yeah, I'm I'm recording, but um, uh, I'm hoping that. I mean, geez, this will be a long series if that's the case, because um, um, what I'm hoping to do here is, you know, get a video per match until I get the, what is it, like, well, I, there's two achievements, I believe there's a 50 and there's a 100 times victory for the Byzantines and def uh, defeating the Saracens, so, oh my god, it's literally Saladin, that's, that's beautiful. Does it stack if you're fighting two Saracens? Uh, I don't, I don't think so, but it actually might, and that's a good point. We'll just fight six Saracens. <laughs> six Saracens at a time. Yeah, that that'd make the episode count less than a hundred, which would be probably better. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to look into that because I mean, technically, you are defeating multiple enemies if that's the case. So why not? They can all be on different scenes. Yeah, and I'm not sure how we're going to fare here, because these are both new AI, so God only knows what's going to happen. I'm going to have to cast a lid up. Bing, bing, cast a lid up. It's probably a good thing that I'm playing the uh, Teutonics. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Teutons, yeah. I don't like playing the Teutons, it's just what? retarded. Okay. Well, um, well, uh, you, know you know it's kind of it's kind of funny. You could make like a like a Holy Roman Empire because it's like four different German factions. <laughs> right. The, the Teutons, the Franks, the other people that I can't remember. You could fight the Slavs or something. Slaves. Yep. No, no, let's see Ethiopians. <laughs> My god. Whenever I hear that word Ethiopian, I just think of that massive, giant country that we had to chop down to size in uh, EU4. Yeah. It's all I can think of. Just hold the entire half of Africa. What could possibly go wrong? That was retarded, because I was playing fucking Ottomans. No, you were playing Russia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you ever research loom? I find I found that yes. I never actually do until like the feudal age, but I've started doing it because it's kind of important. As long as I mean, if there's no wolves, I don't do it right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just gold. I actually don't know if we're connected by land. I kind of hope we are. You can check the button. What? So you can check the button. Check the button? We're playing on Bert. Oh, wait, we're playing on the whole thing. Yeah, we're not playing on hamburger. Das Hamburg. Er. Spams out people out of my people making machine. It's the only way to go about it. I'm gonna start building up my navy now because we all know what ends up happening if you don't. We're fighting two new AIs, so yeah. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I gotta start pushing. But at least my uh, castles can fight them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a good point.
What's their max stat? I think they can even shoot the uh, cannon chips. I think so, which is actually incredible. Because ghost cannon chips, man. Cancer. Not enough wood. <laughs> Good God, this horse of mine is just fighting everything. He's—he's. He's, I told him to go to you. And he's going all the way around the map, which is interesting. Like the opposite way. So I'm assuming that there is water between us, but that should be fine because it seems like there's a very thin stretch of land um, to the next opponent. So, I should be able to block it off nicely, which is good. Got like half of my production on wood. At least, probably more than that. Forget the button. Um... There it is. Yeah, exactly half. That's cool. Wow, they've already got a dock up as well. I had 10 sheep. Yeah, I found quite a few as well. I don't know if it's just coincidence or if there's like an actual abundance on this map of sheep. You need to build more houses. I'm homesteading. I'm homesteading. Yeah, mine are starting to pile up as well, and I had like a bunch at the beginning and I slaughtered. Already got like six. Saladin. Dim din saladin. Or something. Oh good, more sheep. God dang. I'm probably glad to have those because I uh, use all of my berry bushes on uh, producing villagers. What? Oh boy. For the forage bush. May the forage bush be with you. I'm disappointed in these cow ropes. I actually, I... Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Not in area, at least the Star Trek's are good. It's literally. My default, no. I've given up on Star Wars. Nah. I think they fired J.J. Abrams. From what? From the Star Wars stuff. Oh, no, um... They're just the rest of the reaction. They didn't. Uh, what happened was... He... Or whoever was doing it, I'm not sure, it probably was J.J. Abrams, but... Uh, whoever was doing it um, ended up getting busy with other projects, so they brought in a, yeah they brought in another guy to do this one, but he's gonna do at, at least most of the others in the foreseeable future. So they didn't fire him; he just happened to be busy with something. At least that's what Spencer said, so I'm gonna trust him.
I'm just gonna Google it rather than trusting what anyone says. What's this meme with Quentin Tarantino in Star Trek? Yeah, he was like, I'm gonna make the next Star Trek movie. Like, fucking... I don't know. <laughs> it's a pretty funny meme. I mean, yeah, dip, dip, dip. Would... Fucking... <laughs> Fuck, was he was 270 times in this movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, Mr. Scott? <laughs> That would be amazing. Can we please? I need that. Kirk, sit in the fucking chair. No, I fucking want bones. <laughs> Spock will be like, if you two stop fucking bickering, there's fucking Klingon out the window. Just a Klingon kind of floats past the window. Just rams into it, yells, fuck you. <laughs> then promptly dies. Dead cling on storage. Why am I being attacked? That's dead cling on storage. What the hell's going on around here? I don't quite recall how much food it takes to get to the castle age, but I might not quite have it, unfortunately. 800? Yeah, I think it might be 800. I got 411, though, so I mean, I'm pretty close. I remember because I'm always at the bare minimum. Because <laughs> I waste all my food on other stuff. Waste? Well, it's not waste. It's more like I just spam people out. No, I mean, you gotta do that. That's not waste at all. If you don't, you end up getting screwed. Cause then you're sitting there in between ages spamming out people then and it's like well <laughs> no shit because the feudal age is really just a transition you should instantly go from that to the other stuff <laughs> but unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna have that god dang it Damn it, salad. <laughs> salad. Salad ass. I like this ship. It's exciting. Food, please. Run away! Run away! <laughs> That's the best sound bite, though. Let's be real here. Alright. My navy shall be amazing and tremendous. Copyright is too strong. What? 
Is your favorite color? <laughs> Blue. No. Green. Oh, good. They're in the castle age. Help! Help! I'm being repressed! That's the best. That's just amazing. I love that scene. Oh, God, that scene. We didn't vote for you. But I'm your king. Help! Help! I'm being repressed. You can see the violence inherent in the system. Yeah, I think I like Baltic better than Mediterranean. It gives you more space. I need some fighting room. I forget what that's from, actually. Lining my sheep up, sheep up to be uh, slaughtered. Oh boy. What, are you being slaughtered? No. <laughs> Maybe someday. Two. Yeah. Get slaughtered. I'm actually gonna send a small detachment to go burn down their crap. Um, five fire ships. Fire ships of death. It's funny they might actually be upgraded because uh, I'm gonna advance before they get there. Dum bum ba da do dum da do 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 Ah, there we go. Oh, good god, they have actual fire ships. I like how somehow I took out legit fire ships with just five crappy ones. That's truly something. Okay, so one has real fire ships, one doesn't, so I'm not too bad off here. Under relic. Ooh, good. Condo. Yeah, I haven't seen any over here. I'm gonna keep looking though. I 
think we should use this map more often. I like this. Yeah, it's quite nice. I think it's what I used to use almost always. Uh, it's a good map. It's very good. How do we not have enough wood? Like, literally half of my villagers are on wood. What the hell's going on? Get it together, old man. Alright, so I'm constructing a wall on my side. Um, hey, look, we are connected. That's cool. That's good. I found more sheep. Hmm, yeah, there's like no relics over here. Tis unfortunate. You need more houses. Alright, all's finished. That's a good thing. Set up the castles. I actually don't have as much stone as I'd like to have. Um, I mean, I have plenty of it, technically. Like, I just haven't harvested it, I suppose. Yeah, there's like none between the two of us. Actually, there is none between the two of us. The two of us? I like how gray just looks like your sheep are unowned. Yeah. Help, I'm being repressed. Jeez, what the hell was that? <laughs> I was the timing. That was some kind of cancer. You tiny brained whoppers of other people's bottoms. I always wanted to be a lumberjack. <laughs> that is perfect. Victory is mine. We're dealing with suicide bombers here, but they are jihadists, so that's not really surprising. Souls. These demolition ships are cancer, good god. 